Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to show you the out of the box integration between ServiceNow and Azure DevOps. Okay, so I'm integrating with ServiceNow Agile 2.0 and it's really, really important. I'm going to do several videos on this and it's important to me to convey to you that that's the integration point that I think is the easiest and least amount of work for you or your partner, whoever's doing this integration, and that is tying it together at the Agile Development and ServiceNow level to Azure DevOps. So I've got up behind me uh, ServiceNow on the left hand side, so that should be recognizable as an Agile backlog. If anybody, if you're familiar with managing backlogs in ServiceNow, I have um, epics and I have stories. We're just going to talk about stories in this video. And on the right hand side, I have Azure DevOps. And I've already done the work to link these two applications um, based on the documentation available from ServiceNow. And I just want to show you how easy this is to actually work. So we're going to do really simple. We're going to create a story in ServiceNow and I'm going to give it a short description of demo for YouTube. And we'll give it a longer description of this, uh, this story was created in ServiceNow. Notice it's already assigned to this assignment group, ServiceNow Sprinters. That's very important when integrating ServiceNow Agile development with Azure DevOps. It's at the team level in ServiceNow and at a project level within Azure DevOps. So you want to make sure that that's associated with a team that's set up to go ahead and sync with that Azure DevOps instance. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and we're going to look for that new story over here in Azure DevOps. I'm just going to, let's just change the filter here uh, from assigned to me um, and then we'll do recently updated. Um, and I should be looking for demo for YouTube is what should be showing up. So let's just uh, change this here and change back to recently updated. I don't see it yet and that's kind of odd. I was making sure that there it is. Okay, so I just clicked the board again and it showed up. Maybe it took a second. So there's my demo for YouTube story in Azure DevOps. So it's synchronized. I've got my short description. I've got my longer description. And notice right now it's unassigned. Let's send Azure DevOps. Go ahead and assign this to Justin Meadows and hit save there. And that should automatically go ahead and update ServiceNow. It should happen even while we're talking. But let's do something else too. Let's update the description. Here's an updated description can't spell from ADO and I'm going to go ahead and add a comment nice comment and I'm putting in from ADO from service now just so we're able to tell the difference between all those so I'll go ahead and save my comment and I'll save this record here um, so now I should see three things Justin Meadows should get assigned to it my short description should update or no, no my longer description should update in service now and we should see that comment so um, I got my description didn't get my assigned to that's kind of surprising um, but I did get my comment actually came through maybe I haven't set up the assigned to yet or my email addresses I bet that's what it is my email addresses don't match um, so this is using a different uh, a different email address than I have in my ServiceNow instance. So that's why the assigned to didn't come through. That's okay. You get the basic idea here. These two things are talking to each other. Let's just follow it up one more time. Let's go ahead and send a work note from ServiceNow. Work note from ServiceNow. So this would be like someone coming in and updating it. We want to get it over to the Azure DevOps team and we should see that come over instantaneously. Now look at what just happened there. Notice that the name on this is the service account. So if you've messed around with these integrations like Azure DevOps or Jira, you want to make sure you're using a service account uh, to pass that back and forth. Now, obviously, that's got an issue where um, the actually, I just noticed here too that it actually saw that as a comment and got added back. So that's a little bit of a flaw there. But um, you want to make sure you're using a service account and not using your actual account. Otherwise, it does create some issues. And that's an issue right there. I need to actually go fix that. But for the sake of the demo, let's just show the other way. Let's create a story in Azure DevOps and see if we can see that over in ServiceNow. So here's somebody, uh, a development engineer working in Azure DevOps. New issue uh, for YouTube from ADO. Um, and we'll go ahead and add a description of that created in ADO, and we'll put a comment in there just for good measure. Look at my comment. 
and I'll just go ahead and save this and that is going to automatically push that over to ServiceNow and we should see it here in the backlog. Now, the last time I did this, I think I just went to Sprint Planning and back to Backlog and it showed up there. I'm looking for that 18 to go to 19. There it is, scroll to the bottom. There's my new issue for YouTube from ADO. And if we open up that story, notice an issue, got linked to a story, that's all configurable. Um, that actually came in. There's my short description, my long description, and my comment. And of course, I can change these and send those back updated in ServiceNow um, so that they sync back and forth. So we'll just save that. Oh, in ServiceNow, we require acceptance criteria. We'll just put in my favorite here, better work, click save, and then we should see that description automatically update over here in uh, Azure DevOps. It did faster than I could fix my annotation tool to be a square instead of a pen. And that is the basic integration. So if you like this video, pay, stay tuned for future videos where I'm gonna break it down about more than just stories from ServiceNow, things like incidents and tasks, getting over to Azure DevOps, doing special fields that aren't mapped, and actually even setting up some automation so you don't have to, so you can actually set these up in workflows to automatically pass information from ServiceNow to Azure DevOps and then keep them in sync. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in integrating ServiceNow in Azure DevOps. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.